Unit 2, Lesson 8. How much for one? Number 1. In 2016, the cost of 2 ounces of pure gold was 2640 Complete the double number line to show the cost for 1, 3, and 4 ounces of gold. 2 ounces of gold was 2640 1 ounce of gold will be half of that. 1 ounce of gold would be half of 2640 1,320. Three ounces of gold would be 1,320 times three, or we could add 1,320 to 2,640. 3,960. And then finally, four ounces of gold would be 1,320 times four, or we would double 2,640, or we could add 1,320 to 3,960. I think I'll just double 2,640. If I were to double 40, I would get 80. And now I'm gonna double this 2,600, so that'd be 5,200. So 5,280 for four ounces. One ounce of gold, 1,320. Two ounces of gold, 2,640. Three ounces of gold, 3,960. Four ounces of gold, 5,280. Number two, the double number line shows that four pounds of tomatoes cost $14. Draw tick marks and write labels to show the price of one, two, and three pounds of tomatoes. Four pounds of tomatoes cost $14. Half of that would be two pounds, and half of 14 would be seven. Between two and four would be three, and exactly between seven and 14. Let's see, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So I can find it by going like this. Eliminate that one, eliminate this one, eliminate this one. So it's gonna be somewhere between these two. So we'd have to figure out what that is. So this is seven, eight, nine, 10. So it looks like 10 and a half or $10.50. So three pounds should be $10.50. Halfway between zero and two would be one and halfway between zero and seven would be 3.5 or in this case, $3.50. Need to put a decimal here for $10.50. So one pound of tomatoes is $3.50. Two pounds of tomatoes is $7. Three pounds of tomatoes is $10.50. And four pounds of tomatoes is $14. Number three, four movie tickets cost $48. At this rate, what is the cost of A, five movie tickets? One, two, three, four, One, two, three, four, five. Four movie tickets cost $48. This number line is for the dollars. This number line. Two movie tickets would be half of four. So two movie tickets is gonna be half of 48. That would be 24. Two movie tickets is double the price of one. So what number, when you double it, becomes 24? 12. So one movie ticket is $12. So in order to find out what the cost is for five movie tickets, we could do five times 12, or we could just simply add 12 to 48, because 48 is the price for four movie tickets. So that would be 60. Five movie tickets would be $60. B. 11 movie tickets. So we could do the double number line again, but since we figured out the price for one movie ticket was $12, we could simply do 12 times 11. And I already know a trick for multiplying two digit numbers times 11, this digit and this digit, and you rewrite them with a gap in the middle and you add them together. One plus two is three. 
So that's the trick that I know for 11s when multiplied by a two digit number. So 11 times 12 is 132. So you'd have to spend $132 if you wanted to buy 11 movie tickets. Number four, Priya bought these items at the grocery store. Find each unit price. 12 eggs for $3. That's this ratio, 12 to three. I want to break it down to one egg because they want to know the cost per egg. So in order to turn this 12 into a one, I'm just gonna divide it by 12. 12 divided by 12 is one. In order to keep the ratio the same, I must divide this side by 12. Three divided by 12 or three twelfths. You know, three twelfths is equivalent to one fourth. And when we're talking about one fourth of a dollar, that's the same as one quarter. So I'm gonna say that one egg costs 25 cents. One egg costs 25 cents. B, three pounds of peanuts for $7.50. How much is the cost per pound? Three pounds for $7.50. We need to get it down to per pound. So we want it to say one pound for a certain amount of money. We don't know what that is yet. Again, to get this three to turn into a one, we need to divide it by itself. Three divided by three equals one. 750 divided by three. Seven dollars fifty cents divided by three is 250. Two dollars and fifty cents. We can check it out. Let's test it out. 250 plus 250, that's five dollars. And then another 250 added to that five dollars equals seven dollars fifty cents. C. Four rolls of toilet paper for two dollars. How much is the cost per roll? So we have four rolls for two dollars. We want to know what the price is for one roll. One roll would cost this much. We got to do four divided by four to make this a one. And if we did this side divided by four, then we must divide this side by four. Two fourths, here's a picture of two fourths right here. One fourth, two fourths. That's the same as one half. One half. You see two divided by two equals one and four divided by two equals two, one half. So one roll of toilet paper for a half a dollar. What's a half a dollar look like? 50 cents. D, 10 apples for $3.50. How much is the cost per apple? 10 apples for $3.50. We want to know the price for one apple. Divide this by 10. Divide this by 10. I'm just going to move the decimal over once to the left. That makes it 10 times smaller. So now we have the decimal here and the 3 and the 5. We don't need to bring this 0 down here on the end. So this would be represented as one apple for 35 cents. One apple for 35 cents. Number five, Claire made a smoothie with one cup of yogurt, three tablespoons of peanut butter, two teaspoons of chocolate syrup, and two cups of crushed ice. A, Karen tried to double this recipe. He used two cups of yogurt. If you're gonna double the recipe, you need to double, double this, and he did. And you need to double this. And he did. And you'd need to double the two teaspoons of chocolate syrup. But instead of doubling it, he put a little too much because doubling two would be four. He put five teaspoons. That's too much. He doubled the amount of crushed ice and put four cups. When the original amount was two cups, that was correct. But right here is where he made a mistake. He put too much chocolate syrup. He didn't think it tasted right. Describe how the flavor of Kieran's recipe compares to Claire's recipe. The flavor would be more chocolate. It would taste more chocolatey. B. How should Kieran change the quantities that he used so that his smoothie tastes just like Claire's? The only change that he would have to make is he'd have to double that and put four teaspoons of chocolate syrup. 
Number six, a drama club is building a wooden stage in the shape of a trapezoid prison. The height of the stage is two feet. Some measurements of the stage are shown here. What is the area of all the faces of the stage, excluding the bottom? Well, we have this face, which is two by 20. So that is 40 feet squared. We have this face and this face, which are the same size, 2 by 13. So the area of these faces are each 26 feet squared. We have this face, which is 10 by 2, so that would be 20 feet squared. I'm going to add those up for right now. 40 plus 20 plus 26 plus 26. So I think right now we have 112 feet squared. And then lastly, we have the top of the stage. That's this section here and it's in the shape of a trapezoid. So we need to find the area of this trapezoid. This distance and this distance are different. This distance here is 20, and this distance here is 10. In order to find the distance that we're going to use, we need to add these two distances and then divide them by two. And that's going to give us the distance that's exactly between 20 and 10. Let's use this picture over here, it's better. 10 plus 20 is 30, but we gotta divide that by two. So that would be 15. And they're giving us the height right here. See, the height was 12. So now we gotta do 15 times 12. 15 times 12, five times two is 10. One times two is two, plus one is three. Bring this down as a placeholder. Five times one is five. One times one is one. 30 plus 150 is 180. So this shape here of the stage, the area of this stage is 180 feet squared. This stage is 180 feet squared. Here we had 26, 26, 40, and 20. So 112 feet squared. So 180 plus 112 was 292 feet squared. The area equals 292 feet squared. Congratulations, you finished unit two, lesson eight. How much for one?